The surge. Smallsy surgery. The surgery. This is Smallsy surgery. Hi, this is Louis Tomlinson. I'm co-hosting the show with Smallsy. Please welcome Louis Tomlinson. Maybe I miss you. Hanging out on the show tonight is co-hosting with us, good old Louis Tomlinson. How are you, sir? Good to see you. I'm all right. How are you? Uh, I'm going to give you something straight off the bat. 11 years ago this year, we first met. That is fucking mad. Yeah, is that, that not that is insane? Crazy. That is crazy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 12 years today, yeah. the, the, the band got formed, actually. There you go. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And so, okay, so I was a year late to the party. It's okay. I'm, you know, post production, pre production, and stuff. Yeah. I'll take the yeah. credit for it. First album was shit, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, 11 years, man. Congrats on everything, dude. What a Excellent. wild ride. Yeah, it's been crazy, man. It's been crazy. Uh, I saw your show last night. Uh, but before we even, you know, chat to a uh, uh, quick uh, life check, how are the dogs, Clifford and Bruce? Dogs are good, man. Dogs yeah. are really good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. All, yeah. Honestly, I'm just here for the dogs. <laughs> uh, Fair enough. You got spoodles, right? Cockapoos, whatever you call them. It's um, what do you call them now? Where it's a Labradoodle. Oh, Labrador and we call it a Labra- Labrador. And a Golden Doodle. A Golden Doodle yeah, and a Labradoodle. Yeah, yeah, they're sick dogs. Right? Aren't they sick? Yeah. yeah. Have you got dogs? Yeah, Spoodle. So oh, that's or right. a Cockapoo. Right, okay. You call okay, it a Cockapoo. Nice. Yeah, yeah, she's a little tiny one though. Nice. The, the poos are easier to pick up. It's just that, <laughs> that's first world problems, right? Yeah. Hey man, congrats on the the sold out world tour. Thank you very much, man. It's been incredible. Really? I saw I saw the show last night. The fans are just. Wild, yeah. It's been, as I said, it's been incredible, man. I've had, I had two years, obviously during COVID. I did two shows, mm. and then obviously it all got cancelled because of COVID. So I had two years to speculate and wonder what it might feel like, you know. And and actually having those two shows beforehand, it gave me a taste of what was to come. But yeah. I've, I've just absolutely loved it, man. Everywhere I've been, so blessed. Everywhere I've been. Crowds have been incredible, so can't complain. I do love that the fans always have, like, at least at the show last night, they have always, like, somehow they talk to them each other beforehand to arrange some moments. It's mad. How does it's that mad. happen? Do you even know that? How, I don't know if you know how that happens. But I'm they, assuming just on Twitter, yeah. Maybe, yeah. yeah they just yeah. arrange stuff to happen. and It's crazy, yeah. Does it always, like, take it back you a little bit when you're on stage going, oh, they've all worked together to hold simultaneously the same signs yeah, or yeah, something like or, that? Yeah, or do similar things with the lights. Like, yeah, it's always really impressive that. They always go to the nth degree, yeah. What's it like getting on the road, playing shows, uh, seeing, looking out, and then, and, and I'm going to talk about 28 in a second because I just spotted that tattoo. Because, well, actually, let's just get straight to it. What Go is on. the 28 all about? It was the number that I got assigned when I uh, got signed on for Doncaster Rovers Reserves. Okay. Yeah, yeah. me local footy team. There yeah. you go. Because mm. I saw it on stage last night. Yeah, it's kind of just become like my lucky number. Kind lucky of number. Yeah. Okay. So, 28 yeah. cars, 28. No, did anything else you're going to do with the number 28 or just... Lucky number 28. Just, yeah, just lucky number 28. You yeah. don't do things in 28s now? No, that would take a long fucking time. Man. It would, <laughs> it, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it take a long time? Um, how is uh, the tour going? Obviously, I said it was sold out. And you're like, it's like half a million tickets worldwide, which is yeah. crazy. Yeah, right, that is crazy. Yeah. You enjoying? Yeah. Is, it, is it good to be on the road? What's it like being yeah. on the road? This time versus last time. It was always my favourite stuff to do in the band mm. um, tour. And actually, before this tour, I think it's about seven years since I've been on the road. And it's something I've missed and I've been working towards, to be fair. So now we're kind of getting to the tail end of the tour. just feel dead proud, man. It took a lot of work to get here. The shows have been amazing. Um, it is a slightly different experience, obviously, touring with the band versus touring on your own. But also, I'm a bit older now anyway, so the experience was always going to be a bit different. Um, What's there more amazing. or less of? I'm lots more drinking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> L- less PlayStation, more PlayStation? Uh, probably about the same, same amount, to yeah, be fair. Same yeah, amount. sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why, why give up a good thing? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Um, this is wild, but uh, we, we dug out an old interview where we spoke Ooh. back in 2013 where we're talking about what a day in the life for you on tour look like. That's scary, right? Just tell me how much you can relate to this now. Uh, your this quote, this is your quote, this is actually what you said to me. Well, today we basically drove through the night, had a meet and greet, a sound check. Now I'm here talking to you. Tonight I'll do a show, then fly somewhere else. I've started watching Breaking Bad. I also watch movies, play PlayStation, or uh, or sit and chat the old-fashioned way. That's an incredibly elaborate answer, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Um, How much of that is now, like now? 
Do you drive through the night still? Yeah, well, first half of the tour, we're on the tour bus, yep. so yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, it's, that's, I can still relate to most of that. Breaking Bad, or we moved on to another? What are we watching now? Obviously, I've seen it now. Sure, yeah, now, why decent, would you keep no, watching decent, it? Decent, decent. What am I watching now? Oh, you sh have you seen the documentary, not the uh, the docuseries on... Um, on, on the Sex Pistols. Oh, it's on, no, like Disney, on the Disney Plus? Yeah, you should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I won't watch the first episode because I had to interview the guys. Oh, right. Like some of the people I'll in the movie. the rest, man. Yeah, it's good. I, it's good. It got worky and then I was just like, oh, I'll pass on the rest of it. But is it good, though? Yeah, it's really good, man. You should watch it. Um, did I see world record for breaking uh, a record for the most live stream concert by a solo artist? You did, yeah. That's pretty cool, Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what, do you what happens when you get a world I don't have a world record, so I don't know... Um, what do you, is there a club? You just uh, get it. You just get a nice. Do you little get a plaque? plaque? Nice yeah. little plaque. You just got a plaque. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. Really posh. There's no. Um, is there a dinner? Is, there's you, no dinner. No. no, 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 none of that. No. Wow. This is a missed opportunity. Mm. See, mm. I was tempted to break a world record, but now there's no dinner. Yeah. And no secret yeah. club. Yeah, you just uh, get a plaque. You just get a plaque. Yeah. Okay, yeah, make yeah, a plaque exactly. up. Okay. <laughs> have you hung it up anywhere? Have you got it yet? Do, we, do you know where I it is? I have got it. I have got it. Yep. It's, it. It's not quite been hung up, but it's propped up on, on a table. <laughs> sure. Okay, <laughs> yeah. nice. Um, <laughs> while I've got you, let's talk about mm -hmm. new album. Yeah. What can you tell me? The process I've enjoyed <clears throat> 20 times more than the first album, to be fair. And I think because... There's still pressure, obviously, for me to deliver a good record, but like there was just there was just so many different opinions on the first album and me trying to find my feet coming out of a band the size of One Direction. There was just so much going on in my head. So I feel like I've been able to look at this record with a bit more clarity. Um, I I did imagine that I would be on the road for a year and have all those amazing experiences to draw from when I was writing, but obviously that didn't happen because of COVID. So there was an element of imagination and I suppose this is probably a different album than I would have released had I been on tour but it's something I'm really really proud of really proud of uh, what within you do you notice uh, changes as you get older in, in the album making process to things that used to matter matter less or matter more or when you're in that sort of fine-tuning moment tell me about that I think I think yeah it's a good question I think it's constantly evolving your opinion on what you think is the right thing to do musically or what you think is cool or whatever I think that's a constant evolving idea definitely yeah nice uh, a date anytime you know when it's what you can tell me no. Um, you know me, lad. I actually don't know the date. Of you the album, To be fair, but this it's is coming fantastic. Soon. Coming soon. Yeah. This is fantastic. I love. <laughs> I love that it's yours. You're like, I don't know. There's a yeah. team. There's a team of. There's a team of people that no, know the answer like to that. that and I'm just an organised as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, obviously, you know, I was there at the show last night. Uh, you did the. Uh, it's like basically sold out shows around the country. So congrats on that. Thank you. Is it wild coming back to the other side of the world after the time that it has been since you were last here? And to sell those shows out. And do you look out on the crowd and sit, like, I mean, I, I guess yes. But do you recognise people? You've played so many shows. People do all genuinely look a little bit the same after seeing so many thousands of people in your time. But there would be people up the front who've been there every show, every day, since the very beginning. Yeah, yeah, there's there's definitely familiar faces that you see. Um, and, and, you know, in terms of being here in Australia... As you know, as a lad from England, like this is a long way away. Do you know sure what I mean? Is. So to be able to come as far as this and, and like you say, do those sellout shows and have the crowds be as amazing as they are, yeah, it's amazing. I start. I, I only started doing this halfway through the tour, but I've started just trying to just take a moment during the show because it's so easy just to go show to show to show and just almost let it pass you by. And yeah, the, the, it's, like, it's exactly the kind of thing I think, you know, I'll look out and think I'm in Sydney, you know, it's, it's crazy. Sick, right? Yeah, Wild. it's amazing. amazing. Playing to people that, you know, that, that you don't know around the other side of the world. It was like, I think it, I, for, for someone who doesn't play shows, I imagine that that would always, uh, you know, when you stop and take a breath, you just go, how cool is this? Yeah. What a great life. Uh, yeah, definitely, man. And, the, and those feelings come in stages, you know, you put the you put the tour on to sale and you... you crossing your fingers that it does and then it sells out and then you're wondering what the show's gonna be like and you get there and the crowds are amazing it's just been a really good year for me man nice all right well i, I put the call out i said you're going to be on the show uh doing the co-host thing and then fans sent me questions so i'm going to roll through them let's go uh which fan project has been your favorite so far on tour um, do you have one yeah in oh, 
somewhere in South America. Can you remember? Santiago, yeah, yeah. And they, uh, they, 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 they've carried on doing it, to be fair, throughout, but mm. this was, like, the most I'd seen. And basically, they just moved the lights up and down, but in time with the song, and it was just really, really captivating. Do you just, like, go, what the hell's happening here at the moment? Do the first time you see it, you well, go... Well, sometimes you've got your eyes closed and you're singing, you know what I mean? And then you yeah. open and you just see shit like that. It's amazing, <laughs> man, amazing. Uh, are you a morning or a night person? I think I know the answer to oh, this I'm one. A night person, night man. Person. I'm not very good in the morning. No, what time? What, Feels like morning now, to be it, fair. It, it is, not, <laughs> and it's not. It's definitely not. Uh, if if the if you don't have to get up, what time are you getting up? Like when you're like, actually, no alarm. Naturally, when your body just wakes you up, what time? Would On that tour? Be? No, just life. Oh, life. Maybe like midday. Midday. Yeah. That's still, good. Still. Yeah. yeah Don't yeah. change. Don't yeah. change. Even Absolutely. later on tour, man. Definitely. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, you wouldn't shut. You know, you'd be on a high, buzzing after the show. You know, two o'clock is acceptable. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Three or four, you maybe need to start looking at yourself. <laughs> uh, what about the writing process? This is uh, a question. Compare the writing process of both albums. Which one do you think was more difficult to write, or was the process similar? Uh, I'd, I'd say the first album was harder to write just because, as I said before, I was finding my feet and uh, I, I think I was probably doing more of what I ex what I thought people have expected of me. Sure. As opposed to kind of following my heart and doing what I love. So th there was, I wouldn't say it's been an easier album to write this second one, but it's it's something that I maybe had a better understanding of from the start of the process. Do you, do you find as you, you know, define your, yourself as the solo artist, does that process get easier as in knowing what you want versus trying to give people what you think they want from you or, 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 or battling between the two? Yeah, I think I think for me personally that it was, it was, and I can't remember what specific moment, but I feel like I've kind of gone past that way of thinking. Yeah. Um, and, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's easier for me to do because I get such incredible support from my fans doing what I love. Nice. Um, so, yeah. Uh, your favourite dipping sauce for chicken nuggets? Great question. That is a great question. Um, for chicken nuggets specifically, I'd probably go barbecue. Okay. You can't really beat brown sauce. Do you have brown sauce? No, we don't. Re oh, we don't really have a brown sauce like as as HP? popular. Yeah, yeah. We, it's available. It's, okay. it's niche. Mm -hmm. It's niche. Have you tried it? Uh, uh, yes, as a child when I was forced to. Okay. And that was about okay. the extent of it. You should try it, man. We have bacon sandwich. It's banging. Very good. Yeah. Because uh, in Australia, you'd probably do sweet and sour sauce with your chicken nuggets. Like I that could would do be. That. I could no, do. you'd I could love get it. That, yeah. You should get your yeah. Get someone in your team to get you that. <laughs> uh, what have you been listening to lately, music wise? Um, the Snots, who are currently touring with me on these Sydney shows, mm. um, love their last record. I think they've got a new album coming out relatively soon. Um, just been rinsing them, to be fair. Good nice. lads, great live band as well. Uh, there's a question here. I don't know what this means, but what does 369 mean? I'm not telling you. Okay. <laughs> what, where, where has that appeared, 369? Just some... In places? Just some weird cryptic tweet, tweets I was putting out during lockdown to be fair but okay and I've never explained them and I, and I don't you intend don't to. intend no, to no no it's kind of but fun man yeah no it's great I love the <laughs> international man of mystery vibes yeah, that you've got going yeah. on got to when I sat when that question 369 is said does it take you back to oh I know what they're talking about I'm still not going to tell them or will I you just I don't even really know what about I, that yeah <laughs> yeah yeah he actually was just bored <laughs> and he enjoys yeah. continually making you think that there was something behind it uh Okay, this is a good one. Outside of your core music career, what are some of the projects you're working on or most excited about that you can talk about? Um, I don't know if there's anything that I can... There's a couple of things on that. I don't know if there's anything I can talk about right now. I well, mean, to be honest, it's, it's all been music, man. It's yeah. been taking, like... Obviously, I said I've been on tour from February till now. Um yeah, I've just tried to really immerse myself into the music and, and, and find my feet that way. Yeah, nice. Um, before I let you go, uh, a message for the Aussie fans, the global fans. The, what do you want to say to them? Just a massive, massive thank you for, you know, continued support. It's been a long time now and, and the shows, it's not that I didn't know what to expect. I knew they were going to be amazing, but they've surpassed my expectations. And yeah, just thank you, I suppose. Dude, thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of uh, the tour uh, and your time here in Oz. And don't be a stranger and you're welcome back anytime, all right? Thanks a lot, man. Good to see you. Smallsy Surgery is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.